This is my first one, so I'm not really a pro when it comes to any of this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually super duper exciting because guess what? Oh my god, your girl finally got her hands on an actual big heat press. Yes, you heard that right. And all thanks to Heat Transfer Warehouse. So thankful for them, dude. They stay hooking your girl up. So thankful. So they sent me their wallet press drawer clamshell heat press and that's what today's video is going to be all about. So I'm going to be doing like a review on it, talk about some of its specs and I'm going to be demoing it as well. So if you're interested to learn more about this heat press then let's get started. So since this is my first big actual heat press, this review is going to be pretty much beginner friendly. I'm in no way a pro when it comes to this because this is my first time trying one of these out. I'm just used to like the smaller handheld heat presses. I've worked with the Cricut Easy Press and then the Heat Transfer Warehouse Craft Press and those like you actually do it with your hand so that's totally a different ball game than what it is now like this one is just a straight up monster dude like it's totally different than those handheld heat presses so it's kind of intimidating this one it does all the work for you so we shall see if it's worth it so this specific heat press is a clamshell press pretty much you lift the handle up and you lift the handle down I believe there are two types of heat presses. I think it's the clamshell press and then a swing away press. The swing away press, I think once you lift it, it like pretty much, like the name says, it swings away. But I feel like those are a little bit more bulkier. I've never been like a fan of those, I don't know. So this one specifically is a clamshell, so it, you lift it up and then you lift it down and it does all the work for you. Not like the handheld ones where you have to use your scrawny little arms like mine to do all the work, but yeah. So this is a clamshell press and this specific one comes in a purple color and I feel like it's a true grape purple i have this purple shirt going on to give you all the purple vibes so yeah that heat press is purple and then it has a 15 by 15 platen which is totally bigger than what i'm used to i've only worked with the 9 by 9 easy press and a 12 by 10 craft press so this is definitely a game changer because it's way bigger my options have just expanded hell yeah dude so i'm excited about the size because i'm not used to something that big so this is definitely super exciting and it has a max heat setting of 482 degrees fahrenheit i know you can use celsius on it as well but us over here we don't use celsius so yeah and then a few things that i noticed when playing with this heat press was that it didn't tell me when it had reached the desired heat setting like usually my other presses would make a noise to tell me like hey i've reached that degree but this one didn't tell me anything at all it was just it just stayed silent which threw me off because i'm so used to it telling me so i had to like keep checking it just to make sure but yeah and for curiosity purposes i decided to time how long it would take for it to reach 300 degrees how long do you guys think it took drum roll please it took 9 minutes and 39 seconds to reach 300 degrees. That totally threw me off. I was like, damn, do all heat presses take this long? I was like, whoa, because my little ones, they take maybe a few minutes to heat up. But I'm not exactly sure what like the typical time it is for a big heat press to heat up. But that just like completely threw me off because I was like, damn, this is a long time. Like nine minutes, almost 10 minutes. That's a long time. But I think because it's so huge and it has such different power, I think maybe that's why it takes so long. But it was just completely different for me. That's why I was like, whoa, like, do they really take this long? I was, I was shook. I never even used that word, but I was shook. I feel like that's one of the downfalls. Like, not only do you not tell me when you're ready, but like, I have to wait for you to be ready. So you kind of have to like, keep looking at it. But I guess you could take the time to like, weed something, prepare for your pressing time, or just do something. But yeah, that's the only downfall. You kind of have to keep always checking it. And this press has a big power button on the side and then it has a digital screen where you can control your temperature and your press time. And I feel like the digital screen is pretty easy to get used to because it doesn't have many buttons. It just has like a set, arrows going up and down and then a start. It's pretty easy to get used to because all you need to change is like your temperature and your seconds. And then the start I believe is for you to manually push the start button like on your own. And I feel like the simplicity of the screen just makes it super beginner friendly because there's not much for you to learn. You know, you just get it like that. And once you get it, you're like good. So definitely beginner friendly when it comes to that. And one of the things that I feel like makes this heat press just completely over the top and cool is the slide out drawer that it has. So you slide it out, you put down your garment, your HTV, whatever you're gonna do, and then you slide it back in, bring the handle down, that's it, dude. You don't have to worry about getting your fingers burnt or anything because the drawer is gonna slide out and your fingers or your hands aren't gonna be anywhere near that plane, which I think is such a game changer, like so cool, dude, because knowing me, I feel like I would burn myself. But with this, it was easy, didn't burn myself. There's also a caution button on the plane, like on the purple part, don't touch it. You know I had to touch it softly, like fast, just to make sure it was hot, and it was, but I didn't burn myself or anything. But where it says ca caution, 
be caution but yeah that slide drawer is definitely a game changer and also that slide drawer comes with a removable heat pad so you could remove it and then replace it with like a heating pillow or just anything else that you want or need for whatever it is that you're gonna press so i think that's cool that you're not just limited to what's on there like you could actually change it to whatever it is that you need so i think that's cool that it gives you the option to like remove it so on top of the platen there's actually a knob that helps you control the pressure so if you do it clockwise, it increases the pressure. And if you do counterclockwise, it decreases the pressure. It's kind of confusing at first, but the way I think of it is lefty loosey, righty tidy. I don't know. I recently learned that. I had never heard that. But yeah, that's how I think of things now. Lefty loosey, righty tidy. So if it's right, it's tight. If it's left, it's loose. Yeah, just think of it like that. That's what I do. But yeah, this whole pressure thing is still kind of confusing to me. I don't really know exactly like what to do with it. But I know that the knob has like a screw in the bottom that's like exposed. And right there you could see if it's like bigger or lower. So if it has more of the screw exposed, that means the platen is like lower. And if the screw is like smaller, that means the platen is higher. So I don't even know if that means it's like increased pressure, decreased pressure, I don't know. Whatever it is. So the way I figured out how to control mine is I would bring it down and if I couldn't like fully close it, I would bring it back up, change the pressure, bring it back down, see if it would let me close if it wouldn't, bring it back up, change the pressure again bring it down until like it actually let me fully bring it down like actually close the handle and hear it lock but yeah that's how I did it I feel like I'm not really gonna mess with it right now because I have it set at what I think works for me so it's gonna stay the way it is but just know that you can increase or decrease the pressure so there you go and also this press is 60 pounds so for me personally because look at me I feel like that's heavy like I couldn't take it out of the box to set it where I needed it I had my brother and my dad do that but yeah it's 60 pounds it is pretty heavy for me it's not like I'm gonna be moving it all the time so that doesn't really matter but if you're a person that's like thinking about taking it to shows or something just think about it being 60 pounds cuz for me 60 pounds is a lot but if you have muscles because you know I don't, then you should be good. But yeah, 60 pounds. And also, it took me a while to actually get my hands on a big heat press because I honestly don't have any room. And once you commit to a big heat press, like, you need room, dude. You can't just store it away in a closet or something. You need room. So I wanted to give you some sizing reference just in case you're interested in this one. So for reference, this press is 15 and a half inches wide, 29 inches long, 15 and 3 quarters inches high. So it's definitely small on the wide side. It's like tiny, but it is long. Like, it's long. Like, a regular table couldn't fit this press unless you have it like diagonal, and I didn't want it diagonal. So since I didn't have a table or anywhere to put it, guess what? My dad made me a table. Shout out to my dad. Oh God, he always comes through. I love him. So he made me my own table from some scrap of wood that he had. He made it the same day that I told him that I needed a table. So bless his heart. I love him. So just in case you want to know what kind of table he made me or what size, he made it 22 inches by 35 inches. So I have it behind my filming area. It works out. I love it. Shout out to him because he came through, dude. He came through because I honestly had no idea where I was going to put it. But just wanted to share the sizing reference just in case you need to like figure out in your spacing area and stuff. Just so you know. So now that that I've gotten all those specs and features out of the way let's get into me trying out and demoing this heat press so let's go so my press is ready and it's set to 305 degrees so first thing we're gonna do is pull out the drawer then I'm gonna place down my t-shirt I'm gonna be working with the 100% cotton t-shirt and for this I realized that in order for it to work best is to put the neckline where it doesn't like get pressed you know so it isn't like lifted so always try to put the neckline where it doesn't meet the plate I guess you could say so then we're gonna preheat it and I'm gonna use a Teflon just to protect it so push the drawer back pull down on the handle and then just press for a few seconds lift it and then pull it back out I'm also going to take a lint roller just in case. Then I'm going to use my t-shirt ruler to try and get it centered correctly. And this is a little bit more difficult with this press, but anything to get it centered, you know. I know people usually use their fingers for this, but I feel like four fingers isn't enough for me. So I'm just going to do it this way. And I'm going to take it three inches down. So for this project, I'm gonna be layering. So first thing, I'm just gonna fold up my HTV, my first layer. And then I like to take a ruler just to make sure that everything is even. 
I feel like this is the part that takes me the longest is always trying to center it but you gotta do what you gotta do you know so then before pressing I'm gonna put my Teflon sheet again to protect the layer put it back and I'm only gonna press this for a few seconds just to tack it onto the shirt and as soon as I press down the countdown starts automatically which is cool more convenient because you don't have to press anything so take it out peel it off do the next layers So I'm going to press this for another few seconds as well. And I have two more sets of these dots to go. And then one more set of layers. The reason that I split up these colored ones, like the top with the bottom, it's because I don't like wasting HTV. As much as I can save it, I will, even if it takes me longer, you know, so that's why I'm separating them. I'm also going to tack this one, even though it's the last layer, I don't want these to get the design of that film, you know, so I'm going to tack it and then go over it again. Even though it's like complicated to have to put the Teflon sheet each time, it like protects the HTV. But they do sell um, protections for the plate themselves. So I think I want to get my hands on it just to avoid a step, you know, so I don't have to keep putting the Teflon sheet every single time. So that's definitely going to make my job easier and faster. So now we're going to do the full 15 seconds and let it sit. And now I have hands free. I, don't, I can do whatever I want. I don't have to push down or anything. So. Now we wait. And there you go, it's done. And there we have it. School Counselor, Friends Edition. This t-shirt's from my cousin, so shout out to her. But yeah, there you go. So simple and so fast. And there you have my demo with the heat press. I definitely feel like it's super beginner friendly. Like I got used to it super fast. The only thing that was throwing me off in the beginning was the drawer. Like I would forget that I had to push the drawer back. So I would try to bring it down and like the drawer would be near me. So you kind of have to get used to pushing the drawer back. But once you get used to it, it's like nothing. Like bring it out, do your thing, push it back in, bring it down. It's just like easy. I feel like the screen is super easy to use. There's not many buttons that you have to learn or like push all these codes or anything. It's super easy. The platen dude is huge, so the possibilities are endless. So you definitely can go crazy with all your designs. And I can't wait to do bigger graphics, you know, because I can finally do it. And I'm not like limited to my 12 by 10. So thank God for that. And like I stated, the drawer is such a cool feature, dude. Like, I don't even know what it is. I just feel like it makes everything easier. So when I first started playing with this press, just to like get used to it before filming an actual review, I did eight shirts for my cousin. So in order of eight shirts, you feel like it would take you a long time, you know? But after I did it, I feel like it went by super duper fast in comparison to what it would have taken me with the handheld press. I don't even know what it was because obviously the press time would be the same but I feel since I wasn't physically having to push down and getting tired I feel like it went fast so I love that the press is the one that's doing all the work for me you know so definitely a complete change when it comes to that and definitely recommend that because your arms are free they don't hurt you're not tired you could be doing whatever else you need while that's pressing you know so definitely a game changer when it comes to that and then the actual size of the heat press I'm not exactly sure how big other heat presses run but I feel like this one is actually tiny when it comes to like its width it's like dude 15 inches is really nothing the only thing I will say it is long so first figure out if you have space for it I gave you the measurements just so you could figure it out but I do think it's worth it because dude you don't have to do any of the work the freaking press does all the work for you so definitely 10 out of 10 I'm super excited to get things going and start doing all these projects and stuff definitely super excited with that so I have this press link down below definitely check it out if you're interested I do believe they're sold out right now but definitely be on the lookout because once these go live I feel like they go fast so you gotta be fast if you want it get it because it's not gonna wait for you so definitely check it out once again thank you to heat transfer warehouse for sending this over to me i really appreciate it so i really hope you guys enjoyed this review don't forget to leave me your thoughts in the comments give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and yeah i'll catch you in my next video bye